Hi, we're back again and we have one more guest for tonight. His name is Dennis and he too is also from the Caribbean and he's got some great stories to tell about ghostly encounters. So we'll let Dennis uh, tell, tell the story. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yes, my part of it is that uh, I was going home one night uh, in the country and uh, I see a person in front of me look just like my friend. So I tried to catch up with him. His name was Delroy. But I reached close to him and all of a sudden he just disappeared over a, a, a gully. I realized it was a ghost. So I took off running. I go straight to him and tell my parents. Did you try touching him? No, I didn't. I I call, did you call to him? No, oh. no. I was just trying to go up close to him to scare him from behind but he disappeared. It was a prank so instead the ghost pranked you. It's exactly. <laughs> so I took off running straight home and told my parents I never see it again. What did they say? Were they scared? Oh, no, they say okay, you're okay, nothing gonna be happening to you, so you're fine. And the ghost was all gone. Wow. Bye. So Dennis, <clears throat> you also were telling us a story prior to this that you were driving home or somewhere from work or in between town and you saw a pair of uh, feet walking across the street. How did that story go? Well, that story was, uh, it was a true story also. I, um, we were coming from a funeral mm. in the country and traveling on this road, uh, we call it Bagwalk Road, mm -hmm. from Linstead to Kingston. And so it was about 12, 12 13 the night. And I noticed, we came around the corner, and there was this two two feet was just walking across the street, and I didn't stop because I didn't see nobody. Just the, the two. So you were driving, or? Yeah, we were driving. It was a whole uh, about 15, 20 of us was in the van, and I was the driver. It was a big van, okay. Yeah, so I didn't tell nobody. My sister was beside me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't tell her until when we reached Kingston. I said, did you see? And she said, no. I said, okay. I see the, the person walking across, but I couldn't see how opposite. It's just the two feet. You see, going across oh, from the street. which part? From above the ankle or somewhere around From it? below the knee going down, you could see. You could see an image crossing the street. She crossing the street. What happened on that road, there's a lot of accidents. So a lot of people die and that's that stretches the road. Oh. So... So spirits are unrested? Unrested. So that's what happened. Wow. And I never see anything like that again. That was my, all my story for now. Okay. Bye. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dennis. Wow. No, that's another interesting story as well. So I guess when we find the location, we this should is, it's a set true, up. It's a true one. It's, it's no joke. It's a true thing. Oh, yeah. I, I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. Well, thank you so much. And uh, hopefully we'll get an experience to... Uh, Go and see some ghosts in that city. If spirits are unrest, anything can happen. Thanks again. Have a good night.